This microcontroller development board is ready to use out of the box. When unboxing the NanoFlip, you'll see that the board is fully assembled. The mail headers are already soldered onto the PCB. Nothing to do, just get straight into play. The NanoFlip comes with bootloader burned and our custom get started sketch uploaded. This get started sketch is useful for first timers to examine, as it will help the user get more familiar with the NanoFlip. Let's go over what's included in the sketch and what the user can do right out of the box without any preliminary coding. Before we begin, make sure that you have the CH340 driver installed on your machine. If you haven't done that, or you're not sure, check out our video on how to install the CH340 driver. So to start, we're going to plug in the USB cable, USB-C, right into the nano, flip. And test 1 is simply observing the onboard LED. You see a regular pattern, fast on and off linking pattern. And test number 2 is actually very similar. When pressing the reset button, we see a rapid 4 flashes, followed by the pattern that we saw before. So test 1 and 2 is about the onboard LED as well as the reset button. And now it's going to get a little bit more interesting. For test number 3, we're going to be using the I2C scanner. For this, we open Arduino IDE and make sure that we select the correct board and port. The Nano Flip, we simply have to select Arduino Nano. And for the port, we're, in our case, we're selecting COM4, but that number might be different on your machine. But in brackets, it says USB. Now, I know COM4 is the correct one to use, as I have checked it in my device manager. And again, if you're not sure if you have it or if you don't see it here, check out our video on how to install the CH340 driver. But so far, this is looking good, so we go ahead. Next, we're going to open the serial monitor and make sure that we're on bout 9600. And now we see a bunch of stuff being printed continuously. For the I2C test, we're going to focus on this that comes every five seconds or so. It's a scanning and no I2C device found. Of course, because we haven't plugged anything in. So now let's go ahead and plug in an I2C device. Here we've got the 1602 LCD and we have the PT Solutions I2C backpack. We're going to be plugging this right into the Nano Flip. Let's start with the orange wire, which is the ground wire. Followed by the yellow wire, which is the 5 volt wire. And then the SDA and SCL. Like so. Now, if that is plugged in, let's take a look at the serial monitor and we can see that indeed has found a device at address 0x3f. That's great, that's exactly how it should be. And you can connect multiple devices and it will find all of them on the ITC bus. For the next test, test 4, we're going to be using an LED in series with a resistor, in our case a 200 ohm resistor, and reproduce the classic fade example. To do this, we'll use a breadboard. Here, which we already have the LED and the resistor and we're going to be plugging the microcontroller right into the breadboard and now we see the LED is fading. The LED is connected to digital pin 9 which is a PWM capable pin. That's how we're able to make the fade. So here we're testing that feature as well. So finally for test number 5 we're going to be reading the analog pin A0. You can see in the serial monitor that the analog readout on A0 varies between 150 and, 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 and various uh, values and it seems to be fluctuating quite a lot. Well that's because A0 is being read right now and it's just floating. So let us connect a wire one end onto A0 okay, and the other end we're going to be connecting to 5 volt. And now we see that the value on A0 suddenly became constant at 1023. And this makes sense because the analog pin is 10 bit resolution, which is 2 to the power of 10. That equals 1024, but we start counting at 0, so it's 1023. That concludes the introduction to the five pre installed tests that come with Get Started Sketch. The first time users are encouraged to play with these to get more familiar with the NanoFlip. 
Once you're ready, you can of course upload any sketch you want. If you ever want to re-upload the Get Started sketch, as I was when you first took the Nanoflip out of the box, please visit our subdomain at docs.ptsolutions.com and find the sketch there, along with the Nanoflip datasheet and many other supporting resources.